Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So, you want to play Attack on Titans on the Oculus Quest, but you don't have a PC, and you're not sure how to do it any other way. Well, have no fear, Wackman is still here. Today, we are going to go through how to install the Quest version of Attack on Titans, known as Attack on Quest, and all without a PC. Now, to be honest, if you have seen my previous videos, you'll see how easy it is. And I'm only making this tutorial because people have requested it, and I try to give the people what they want. You can also apply this method on a lot of other games, but if any confuse you, leave it in the comments below and it may be one of my next videos. So if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it lets me know to make more this type of content. Talking about giving the people what they want. I have a giveaway for Zero Calibre on Steam and for a secret Oculus Quest 2 game. So if you want to enter, it's really simple. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Put on bell notifications and pick the game you want to enter for by commenting either hashtag zero caliber or hashtag secret quest to game down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Now, if you followed my previous video, then skip to the timestamp on screen, otherwise, you need to do this part first. Step 1 Go on the Play Store on your phone and download and install an app called CX File Explorer. It's free and doesn't have ads, which is why I chose this one, but others work as well. Step 2 Download an app called APK Extractor which will simply allow you to extract the APK, as the name suggests. Step 3. Open up APK Extractor and extract the APK from CX File Explorer. Make sure you remember where it gets extracted to, as you will need it later. Step 4. Download and install the Bug Jager app if you haven't already got that. As I have used this app in a lot of my videos, you might already do. Also, please note that you need to have developer mode activated on your account. I have linked a video above and in the description that might help you through the process. Okay. Now connect your phone to your Oculus Quest using a cable. I've linked an all-in-one adapter in the description if you don't have a phone with a USB-C port, as you can use the charging cable that came with the headset for this. Once you have connected the phone to the Quest, make sure you press allow in the headset. If nothing pops up, restart both your phone and your headset, then try again. Another pop-up may appear asking you to allow debugging if you haven't accepted that previously. Now make sure you're on the packages tab in the Bug Jager app. A lot of people are on the wrong tab and then blame me that it doesn't work. Then press the plus icon at the top and then press OK to install the APK. Find the APK that you extracted for CX File Explorer and install it on your Quest. When it's done installing, that's it. You won't need your phone ever again. You can throw it out the window. Now you can just disconnect the cable. Okay, now once you've done this, you need to join the Discord for Attack on Quest. The link is in the description if you need it. Then we need to go into the Quest headset. Click on Applications and then click on Browser. Then type Discord. Log into Discord, the button is on the far right, although once you log in once, you generally don't need to log in every time. Then go to the Attack on Quest Discord channel, then FAQ Suggestions, scroll up until you can see Quest Direct Download, and then click the link. It should automatically start downloading. Once it's done, go back to your Quest homepage, go into Applications, Unknown Sources, and click on CX File Explorer. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this in the video as Oculus blocks are recording this section for some reason. So just listen to what I'm saying and follow it exactly. Once you're in CX File Explorer, go into Downloads and find the Attack and Quest APK you downloaded. Then simply click the APK file and it should start installing. Once it has installed, you're finished. Go back into Unknown Sources and click on Attack and Quest. Now it takes a minute for it to load, so just wait. And there you go. I told you that it was easy. Now you have Attack on Titans on your Oculus Quest without ever needing a PC or even a phone after the first part. Well, that's all folks. I hope this video has made things a lot easier for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to make more of these tutorials for games people might be struggling with, so let me know which ones in the comments below. Remember to enter my Zero Calibre and Secret Quest 2 game giveaway as well. Well, thanks for watching, have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.